Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the IELTS exam which is the International English Language Testing System. Now I know that all of you are familiar with it but I will still like to talk to you about the two modules. Now in our previous video I have already discussed the general training with you. Today I am going to talk about the IELTS academic module. Before going into the details, I would like to discuss with you who sits for the academic module. There's a lot of confusion, you know, like, you know, which module you're supposed to take. You'll take the academic module or the general training module. Now, the general training module, as I've explained before, is normally if you're looking for immigration, migration or work purpose. And the academic module is if you're looking to study in an English speaking country. Like you want to do your postgraduate or undergraduate, you know, then you take the academic module. The name itself suggests that academic related to studies. Well, the academic module also has four sections ordered in the same way as in the general training section, which is first you do the listening, then you do the reading, the writing and finally the speaking. Now, the speaking is taken on a different day. There is a difference between the general training and the academic modules in some of the sections, you know. For example, um, the writing task one section is different in both and the reading section is different in both. Otherwise, all the other like the writing task two, the listening and the speaking are similar. Well, the listening is a 30 minute task. In the listening portion, you get to hear four recordings consisting of dialogues and monologues. And one of the monologues is going to be on a specific topic like, a, you know, an academic lecture. But don't worry, these are all non-specialist subjects. So it's not that you have to have a big idea about subjects or anything. In the listening, normally you get the type of questions like, you know, multiple choice answers and completing a diagram and um, uh, writing in within three words and writing within two words, including numbers and everything. Coming to the uh, reading module. Now, the reading module in academic consists of three long passages. The passages are going to be in increasing order of difficulty and the subjects are more academic in nature, like with journals and newspaper articles and, you know, excerpts from books based on a variety of subjects like science and biology and technology and history and whatever. Basically, you know, the examiners want to test whether you're able to grasp academic styles of writing. Because you're going to study, so they want to see how good you are at absorbing these kind of things so that you can, you know, read your books and understand them better. The writing section in the academic module has two tasks. You have a writing task one and a writing task two. In writing task one, you're expected to write a report. Basically, you have to analyze a set of data which has been given to you. The data can be given in the form of a bar chart line graph, diagram, table, you know, like this, kind of like a statistical table and stuff like that. You have to carefully look at what is given there and base your analysis on that. Now, you don't have to give your opinion on any extra points or anything, okay? You just have to focus on whatever has been given to you. The writing task two is an essay. Now, the essay is mostly argumentative in nature. So, you have to, you know, focus. Just understand what is being asked of you and answer it accordingly. Well, the writing tasks have word limits actually. For writing task 1, the minimum word limit is 150 words, which means you cannot uh, write less than 150 words in your task 1. In task 2, however, the minimum word limit is 250 words. So, you know, you, your essay has to be quite elaborate, uh, broken into proper paragraphs with an introduction and a conclusion. In upcoming videos, I'm going to discuss about each of these sections in great detail, but I'm just trying to give you an overview now. After the writing task, next is the speaking. When the speaking task is a one-to-one -one interview with the examiner, you know, and there are three rounds. You have a section one, a section two, and a section three. The first one is what we call as a short turn because you're expected to give smaller answers. The second section is the cue card section. Um, they give you a cue card with a topic and they give you one minute to think and you have to speak for about two minutes. Now, the third one is also a part of the long term, which means that you're going to be asked questions, but your answers uh, are supposed to be a bit longer. And, you know, the questions that you're asked in the third part of your speaking is uh, similar to the theme of what you're speaking in the second part. So that's the IELTS academic module in short. 
if you have liked my video, please press the like button. Share it with your friends so that they also know more about the IELTS exam. Subscribe to my channel for I keep on putting new new videos. And yes, don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos accordingly. Well, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye for today.